Hello, everybody. My name is Roberto Martinez, aka Money Boy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys are new here, please make sure you go down below, hit the follow or subscribe button, depending on what platform you're currently listening to this to. And I'd greatly appreciate it. Please make sure you hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that also. Let's get right into today's video. T Mobile will migrate customers to higher cost plans. It's largely important if you're a current T Mobile customer on older plans that you should contact T Mobile immediately and tell them you want to stay on your current plan and you do not want to migrate. Starting November 1st, T Mobile will force customers into a number of its wireless plans to upgrade to higher tier plans, which happens to just cost more. Affected customers will be notified by text and email beginning October 17th, according to a memo. Affected plans include Simple Choice, MAGA, MAGA 55 Plus, and One Plan. Memo says, we're performing a rate plan migration of a small portion of customers and business accounts to newer rate plans, starting with the November bill cycle. Customers to rec will receive an EM a text message and email with their new rate plan details and explaining they have the ability to opt out by calling CARE. According to Teen, the mobile report, which first noted the Reddit, Reddit, the Reddit thread, the price increase will vary depending on the plan a subscriber is migrated to, but most would see a five to ten dollar lot per line per month increase. Commenters on Reddit was pretty disgruntled. One customer, one person said, "It's just a tactic to get those who are not paying attention onto a higher plan and pay for it." Another person claimed to have seen a script that T-Mobile call agents will use when subscribers call to opt out. If a subscriber says they have seen T-Mobile. TV commercials about T-Mobile price lock guarantee, the customer service will be prompted to say, we're not raising the price of any of our plans. We're moving it to a newer plan with more benefits at a different cost. Ever since T-Mobile announced its new Go 5G plans earlier this year, some analysts have predicted that it would just be a tactic to raise prices, which is true. Let's be honest with you. T-Mobile has given out a ton of free lines over the years. And that's just a rally. There is counts right now with nine lines. And majority of them are free. And and honestly, these guys are paying like, so there's, I'm not kidding you not. I guarantee you there's a customer out there right now paying $9 a month and have nine lines. I, I'm sure there is somebody out there that has that many lines and paying that price. And be quite frank with you, that's who T-Mobile should be targeting. It should not be the accounts who are 55 plus, who have two lines, who are just, just paying their plan every month. That's who not who that's who they should not be targeting. They should be targeting the customers of nine free lines and 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 really getting a great deal and really shouldn't be. They should have to pay for the services they're getting. Like you're putting all this money into the network, you should be charging the customers who are not paying their share. Uh, 556 Ventures analyst Bill Ho previously told Fierce that T-Mobile wants to move people off of its older plans to new plans in order to increase average per revenue, so Opera. So they pretty much want to increase the average revenue per user. Every upgrade typically helps um, Opera. their story, especially when people are on the plans that are three or four years old, he said in August. Around that same time, Light Shed analyst Walter and Joe wrote that T-Mobile was following a classic two-step move implemented by countless legacy carriers to, and to increase their average revenue per user. Step one, introduce higher priced right plans with more, quote unquote, more stuff. Step two, eliminate lower tier priced versions of that plan. They also wrote that it might be harder for T-Mobile to increase price given its market positioning as the price leader and it's a hashtag uncarrier consumer friendly brand but they said the price increases are logical and inventable e e inventable let's be honest with you everybody knew it was coming like it's very evident I mean, t-mobile is not the uncarrier brand anymore and it's just the facts here like that if you want to sit here and say t-mobile's uncarrier i can show you every example where they're not they're not uncarrier there is nothing about T-Mobile that is uncarrier. And it's important for every single customer out there who's on the T-Mobile bandwagon to understand they're just like the others. They really are. They're just like AT&T. They're just like Verizon. And they're going down that path now. And that is just a reality. They had to stick with their uncarrier movement because of what they had to agree with the United States government. Now that agreement's over with, 
and not have to worry about it anymore, you're going to see tactic, tactics like this. It's coming. More is coming. I wouldn't be shocked that they start trying to force Sprint users off the, their Sprint plans and onto Go 5G plans. I wouldn't be shocked if that comes soon because let's be honest with you, some of them Sprint plans are incredibly valuable and I don't think T-Mobile wants to pay for it. And I see this going down a whole road where you're going to start seeing T-Mobile be more like AT&T and Verizon and their days are coming. If you guys like this type of video, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you comment down below if you have any opinions on today's video and the move that T-Mobile is making to get rid of older tier plans and force customers on the near, newer plans. The craziest thing to me is this so weird how they're keeping older plans. Like they're going to move simple choice up to MAGA. Magenta, I mean, I don't know why I said MAGA. Magenta. And they're going to move customers on these other tier plans that are so old. If you're going to migrate customers, why don't you just put them on Go 5G? Go 5G Plus and Go 5G Next. Like, it would make the most sense. Why move customers up to the old Magenta plans or the old plans where it makes no sense? Just move them up if you're going to migrate, quote-unquote, customers to have better benefits and better features. You might as well just upgrade them to the best because you're eventually going to do that anyway. My name is Roberto Martinez. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys like this one, again, as I said earlier, like it down below. Make sure you comment. I want to hear your opinions on what T-Mobile is doing. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Have a great night. Love you all. Bye-bye for now.